has been incurred to our students by middle school in charge of Vidya Barani. So, I would like to call Mrs. Swapna to the dayas to exchange her ideas. Firstly, I want to wish a good afternoon to all of you, and especially Chairman Sir, Manoj Sir, Rohit Sir, all the principals, in charges, and all my teachers. I feel privileged to stand before all of you to speak few words from my team. Though we are working in different branches, but we belong to one particular hub called Vidyanadi. Our aim should instill this spirit of lifting our school to a great pinnacle. Our work should let the school to be standing at number one position. In order to make it successful, we as a team need to work to perfect the different fields in our school. Maybe by striving to achieve outstanding disciplines, excelling in our academics, creating future for children. Another challenging task which we need to overcome is overcome, overcoming challenging. How do we overcome it? It is reacting in a harsh way, but I feel we can overcome by handling circumstances in a reasonable way. But by getting into interaction with the atmosphere, student teachers around us, which will surely aid us in overcoming challenges. And our way to giving about needs to be a very unique rather than being mechanical. Coming back to 10 GPA, the best way I think we can follow is that to implement what we plan and execute them professionally. So uh, I would like to uh, thank uh, Manu sir uh, who has given me this uh, wonderful opportunity to stand before all you. And with these words, I would like to end my viewers. Thank you one and all. Thank you, Sapna ma'am. Without the strong foundation, we can't make strong building. Just like our primary in charge, make the primary level by giving delegation of duty and responsibility to the teachers in friendly manner. I would like to call Ms. Srivani Madam of Vidyadayani School to give us her sharp views on GPA. A very good afternoon to one and all. Respected Honorable Chairman Sir, Director Sir, Respected Principals and my dear teachers. It's my privilege to have been asked to speak on this memorable occasion. First of all, I would like to wish you all a happy Teachers Day. In my opinion, if the teachers are intellectually alive and take keen interest in their responsibility, then only success is ensured. In fact, Teaching is not only a job, it is an attitude, role and development of the people, society, country is solely depending on the quality of education which can be given by the teacher. Teachers play an important role in the life of students. Teacher is a noble, teaching is a noble and dignified profession. profession. I, it will give self-satisfaction to all the teachers. The life of student is beautifully molded in the hands of teacher. I feel very proud to be part of Vidya Dani group. There is a special reason for this. I was the student of this Vidya Dani institution and I feel very great and delighted to announce this. I want to see my school as the best school. To attain name and fame for my school, my teachers and I will work with lot of dedication. Thanking you for giving me this opportunity, sir. Thanking you one and all. Thank you, Sapna ma'am, for a wonderful speech. Uh, Srivari ma'am, sorry. A teacher knows the student very well, well and shape them accordingly. She or he will be always there for the students. This statement made by current word by word by our NRI Karman Ghat principal, Mrs. Manjula. So I would like to call Mrs. Manjula to share her ideas.
I, Manjula, take the honor to extend my warm greeting to all the dignitaries who are recited on the dais. Now, right now I am speechless. Reason is all the words which I want to express in front of you are spoken by Rohit sir and other in charges. Now, the second thing also, the second reason is that I am speechless because I am standing in front of the knowledge where I cannot make a mistake. I am standing in front of the power where the total all is getting vibrated with the knowledge. Now today I got the chance like to speak some words regarding 10 by 10 GPA. Now already we have got a developed program which has been given by CC model. Everyone we are aware of it. it comes to our side, like uh, from teacher's side, it's an implementation part and evolution part. Now, implementation part, CC pattern, 100% are expecting overall student development. So, student development can be possible only when we are totally implementing the CC pattern. Implementation truly successful only when there is a balance between a student as well as a teacher. Now, if students is not able to implement the concept properly, once again, there is an imbalance will be there. So implementation part, it's our turn. But how we are going to judge the implementation? How implementation can be accountable? Accountable part of implementation can be done with the evaluation. So CC pattern need the evaluation, continuous evaluation part. Like what I want to share my part how I am going to be a part of 10 by 10 GPA for my branches and especially focusing on 10 by 10 GPA like uh, evaluation, continuous evaluation. There are two objectives are there for 10 by 10 GPA. Evaluation continuously means like every day we have to evaluate the student like now it can be uh, academic wisely they are 100% uh, or if they are going average also as per their knowledge we are going to evaluate. The second part of the doing this process of continuous evaluation, we are going to get the output, learning output. So I think the school success depends on school pride. School pride once again depends on the student as well as the, it is a balance once again between a management, student, teachers, everyone. Now are you are supporting me like this? Yes, because here now 100% success only, it's not possible only from the teacher side, it has to be from, because every teacher right now they are facing this problem. Now though we are implementing the CC pattern, the concept what we are expecting from the student has to come from the student itself. We are doing, every teacher I think they are playing a major role in implementing CC pattern, the concept pattern. But what we are not expecting, what we are not getting, why we are going a drawback why we are not able to get total strength with a 10 by 10 GP. So I request all the teachers that active participation of yours also require and active participation. You have to make the students to participate in a CC pattern concept oriented because evaluation, final evaluation can be judged only with the presentation and concept. So once the student presentation is Okay, then if the concept is okay, 90% we are successful. Now unless and until if we are not maintaining these two points, I think only going activity based, going only with the whatever oral part, I think we are not, maybe we are not going to the pattern of CC pattern. So what do you say sir? So, now I'll take some more uh, suggestions from other intellectuals who are standing, then I'll, I'll just take a pride to salute all the esteemed teachers who are in front of me. So I'll I thank Director Sir, Chairman Sir for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Manjula Madam. I hope everybody gathered here will definitely implement this point. Coming to the next program.
principle varies in strategy, temperament and leadership styles. But the great one has four characteristics in common. That is, number one, responsibility for school success. Number two, lead to teaching and learning. Number three, they hire, develop and retain excellent teachers. Number four, great principle builds a strong school community. These four qualities incurred in one personality that is Mrs. Pavitra Jeevan, principal of NRI Global High School, Ballavuda. I would like to call her on the dais with her innovative ideas. A very warm good afternoon to our chairman sir, director sir, Rohit sir, all my principals in charges and dear teachers. I am very happy to see you all here. The five branches teachers are present at one place of Vidyavayani. That is the we are come all the branches have been visible in the in under one tree I can see. So I am very happy to see you all the teachers over here. And moreover, I wish to all the teachers a very happy teachers day. We are the proud. I feel that a teacher should be the proudest person because we build the nation. We build the citizens of the coming years. So whatever the responsibility the teacher has, no one in this world has. So we all should be the proud because our, the, whatever the responsibility we are taking cannot be taken by any one of the, the who are there in this world. That is, the Creator has given us this challenging responsibility for us in this world. So I am very happy to have the responsibility which has been given by the